Welcome back students. In this video, we're going to learn how to construct a regular hexagon. And so I made a Google slide and I tried my best to create a regular hexagon right here for us to examine and think about the features of the regular hexagon before we jump into the construction. So first of all, a hexagon obviously has six sides and six angles. We're dealing with convex uh, polygons here. What does it mean that the hexagon is regular? Well, what that means is that each one of these sides is congruent. Okay? Each one of the sides is congruent, and also each one of these angles is exactly congruent. Now, if I draw in all the diagonals like that, I can divide this hexagon into one, two, three, four, five, six congruent triangles. And each one of these triangles has a really cool property. This segment, this segment, and this segment, all three of these segments are congruent. And so it is an equilateral triangle. And we know that every equilateral triangle is also equal angular. So every one of these angles is 60 degrees. So 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60 etc. And these angles are 60 as well. So now, just one other thing. If I inscribe this regular hexagon into a circle, okay, if you look at this, each one of these pieces, this is a radius of the circle. So this is equal to a radius, this is equal to a radius, this is a radius, radius, radius. So every single one of these segments that you see is equal to the length of the radius of the circle that um, circumscribes this regular hexagon. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get to the construction. So they're gonna give you either a side length or a radius. But remember, the radius is equal to the side length. So it doesn't matter if they're giving you a radius or a side length, it's all the same length, okay? So they might give you, I don't know, something like that. And say, can you go ahead and construct a regular hexagon well, that has this, this, this property where all the side lengths is equal to segment eight is equal to AB. Or it might say the radius is equal to AB. But either way, you're going to construct this thing the same way. So if I want to use this as one of the side lengths, as maybe like the bottom of the regular hexagon, then my center of my circle or my center of my hexagon would be up here. Well, how far up here? just make an equilateral triangle. To do that, just open up your compass from A to B. Strike an arc. Move your compass on point B. Strike an arc. So there is our center. I'm going to call that point C. That's the center of the circle. It's the center of the hexagon, but it's also the center of the circle that circumscribes this hexagon. So now, I'm just going to make a circle. So there's my circle. And I don't have to do anything to my compass. I'm going to keep it this same radius, right? This same side line. And now, I'm just going to put my compass on point A and make an arc. Put my compass on that intersection and make an arc. Put my compass on that intersection point and make an arc. And put my compass on that intersection point and make an arc. This last arc I don't have to make, but I can just check it. Yes, that's correct. So now, does anyone see the regular hexagon? Yeah, just connect the dots. So to me, this is probably the funnest list of all the constructions that we've learned all year. This one is really amazing. So there it is. You could have also just made your circle with this radius. And here's what I mean by that. Okay, so maybe they give you, okay, they give you this little line segment. Let's call it CD. And they say, okay, well, this is the radius. Well, we know the radius is the same thing as the side length. Well, check this out. This is super cool. Let's just say, let's use that as the radius of the circle. 
So just open up your compass from C to D. That is the only opening that you'll need. You'll never have to adjust your compass. Just make a big circle. Go to point D, chop off the circle, and then just chop off the circle five times. And do you see a regular hexagon? There you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video.